Okay, so this is part three in the 1930 Whip It Walk Around. So I'm going to hit the driver's side here so you can see all the lines are clean and clear. No rust. Beautiful car. All right, so as you can see, up inside of there, no issues. All right, on the line. Okay, right up the door. So, you know, uh, it's an amazing find for us, but hopefully, an amazing car for you finishing. As you can see, all the lines are in great shape, no rust, no damage, no dents. Uh, fenders are all there. I do have the original bumpers there in the back. I do have that headlight cover. As I said, I was trying to work out the lights to get everything squared away. So, uh, once again, all four tires have been redone. Car does run and drive. Uh, it's actually quite fun. It gets a lot of attention and smiles. I'm going to open up the engine here and let you see. It's all original. Uh, so down in there... Nice four-cylinder. Actually, there's an article online that showed it getting 51.8 miles per gallon when they test ran it. So, really cool. Uh, we did replace some of the hoses. Um, you'll probably need a new fan belt, but um, as you can see, everything's been cleaned up, dusted over. Uh, we did re-grease all the axles and um, all of the uh, ball bearings and the seals here. Uh, it does, if you do buy the car, it does include the uh, special grease gun that you need for this car. Uh, if you do buy it as well, it includes the um, the split rim tire jack, which is a priceless thing if you're going to redo your tires or have to change the tire on the side of the road. So this is the other side of the drip rail. As you can see, it's all there. Sorry for the shading. And from up above again, real clean car. Uh, there's the top drip rail. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you an idea as to what it looks like down below. So as you can see, it's all stock. It's all clean, sanded everything down, it's been had it frame off resto, and uh, all original, so ready for you to finish. And uh, like I said, it does have a leak, the engine actually, I have a receipt, uh, shows less than about 300 miles actually on the car after they had the motor rebuilt, and so um, yeah, you can test the compression if you'd like after, if you want to send a mechanic or anything, but uh, this is our Whippet, and so... I'm uh, just going to show you the windows do go up and down. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on now. Spoke too soon. Got something in there. It has some fuzz. So. Oh. Uh, should go down. But uh, it does go down with a little bit of assistance. Obviously, you need to replace the runners so that you can have it go perfectly. But uh, probably not the best example for that window. But the windows do go up and down. You just have to have two hands. Sorry. Uh, we do have the spare tire as well and the lock, lock down for that as well. I'll uh, show you this side of the engine just so that you have a better idea. Um, and the fact that it actually does still have all of the, the see the Willys tags. And uh, there's one on the starter as well. Uh, there's one on the side of the uh, distributor. So all original parts. I'm going to have to set this down while I close the hood. Alright, that's the 1933 Whippet. Let's fade out here and show you what we got. Hope you enjoy bidding.